Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of JournalistToolbox.ai. Um, the website you can go to and find all kinds of resources to help you uh, uh, become much more efficient as a journalist. Video and audio editing, uh, image uh, generation tools, data tools, uh, as well as fact-checking tools. And we're going to explore one of those today. It's a tool called Rolly App. Um, as you scroll through uh, our pages, you'll see training videos embedded in there. Uh, we've got more than uh, 110 training videos up on our YouTube channel, which is available right on this uh, uh, toolbar on the right-hand side. We also have a newsletter. Uh, it's a Substack. It comes out every other Tuesday, uh, typically around 8 a.m. Eastern time. And uh, you can read through it in about, you know, five, 10 minutes. Uh, it covers uh, all kinds of different tools, has training videos built into it. Um, it has some news and notes in there from time to time, too, about uh, the AI industry. And again, that YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to for free, as well as the newsletter, has a free uh, subscription. Um, uh, you can scroll through the training videos here. Uh, there's hundreds of them, AI tools, data viz tools, all kinds of different things that are uh, useful for journalists. Um, so what you're here for today uh, is a tool called Rolly App, R-O-L-L-I-A-P-P.com. I've got a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, so if you want to hit pause and set up a free account at rollyapp.com, you're going to want to use this uh, password, Journo AI, uh, as the uh, uh, passcode. Uh, so you'll be able to set up the account right away. It's a free account. Uh, but Journal AI gets you into the account right away because they do vet who gets uh, access to the tool. So set up Rolly app and then open up this uh, little uh, handout, this bit.ly slash Rolly app uh, link here. It's also in the description of your uh, video. Uh, and once you have those two set up, uh, log back in and uh, uh, crank up the video and we'll walk you through it. All right. Welcome back, everybody. By now, you should have this handout open uh, and also a free account set up at rollyapp.com. So the tool, it was built by uh, Nick Toso, uh, a former producer at CNN. Uh, he got a grant from ICFJ, uh, partnered up with uh, a guy named by the name of Zuhan Chen, who added information tracer tools into this uh, tool. Um, fantastic resource uh, on our handout. I've got the whole history of it uh, and uh, explains what it does. And it's setting up your account um, and the different types of searches you can do in this and, and different things you can do with the tool. It's, it's quite diverse. Um, so I've got some practice exercises built in here as well, but I'll get you started on this video. It just makes it a little easier with the video. Rolly app, uh, when it was first built, uh, was a tool uh, that used uh, AI algorithm uh, to go through and find uh, expert sources from a database uh, and deliver them to you with uh, a short bio that told you what they uh, what they are experts in, what languages they speak, their academic background, and so on. Um, and so that's what pops up here at the top is if you I type in Donald Trump, you can type in anything, person's name, uh, a topic, you know, climate change, or you know any any topic. It works well with breaking stories too, you know, or earthquakes, hurricanes, things like that. Um, and you'll get the names of the of the experts up here in their bios. You can click on these and, and read read them a little more in depth. Um, but not long after this was built, um, uh, Nick uh, partnered with Zuhan Chan and created Information Tracer. And they added Information Tracer software in here. So whatever topic you're searching, it'll show up down here as a little chart that covers the last week. And it covers Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. They're working on TikTok right now. And it shows you uh, all of the uh, top uh, posts and where they came from. Uh, and you can hover over these. You can also filter them out if you just want to look at uh, the Twitter accounts, uh, Twitter posts. Uh, and, you know, you're scrolling through here, you'll see media people, individual accounts. Uh, you know, you'll see uh, uh, bots in here, too. Trump Daily Post is a bot account. Uh, and we'll be able to flag those bot accounts and some of the suspicious sharing patterns along with them, which is really good. This is an excellent tool for vetting social media accounts, especially around things like the election uh, or, you know, any breaking news event, really, uh, where, you know, some of the trolls and, and uh, uh, bot accounts spread a lot of disinformation. So I'll go back to all and you can see all the accounts here. Um, uh, in the lower right hand corner, they got this little button here. 
And then if you click on this uh, little link here, uh, it'll uh, uh, regenerate the chart here. Uh, and then also have uh, a little uh, search refinement here. So if I wanted to refine my search and maybe extend it beyond the last week and maybe uh, make it a little more detailed, I'll do Trump and Biden, uh, but not um, Hunter. And I'll extend it from June 18th all the way back to May 1st. You can go back several uh, months with this. Um, you can also search hashtags in here, which is great. Um, uh, you know, not just topics. Um, so you, know, you can search social media uh, hashtags in here. Down here at the bottom, it's got these five prompts that we're going to get to in a minute. It covers things like how is it spreading across platforms? Are there suspicious patterns? Uh, what uh, are related topics? Who are the top spreaders? That'll be a big one when we break down Twitter. So I've added my search filter here, and I'm going to hit the search button, and it'll take a minute for this to uh, generate uh, my deeper search because I'm going back, you know, seven weeks instead of just one week. Uh, and also it's got a filter in all the uh, Biden without Hunter stuff as well. To help you pass the time, it always gives you a little uh, uh, preview here of some of the top tweets, uh, the username, profile, and, and so on. Uh, so this kicked through pretty quickly. You know, the tool keeps getting faster and faster. Um, so I'm going to test it with a couple prompts. I'm going to leave it on all. And then I'm going to ask, are there any suspicious patterns going on on any of these accounts? any uh, sharing patterns. Um, it's interesting because the score now is quite low. Uh, typically, you're going to see something that's in the medium to high range. Um, you know, we have, haven't had the, uh, a debate yet, so, you know, a, a presidential debate yet, so that might be one of the reasons. Uh, but uh, uh, frequent uh, posters, Facebook, yes, it does flag some sp suspicious patterns there. Uh, the About page explains these little scores they uh, put on it, but, you know, it's beyond the normal range of sharing. Who are the top people sharing stuff on Facebook. Um, it comes from these uh, three accounts that have been flagged. Um, we're going to go back now and just look at Twitter, okay? Uh, and instead of uh, uh, suspicious patterns, we're going to go, who are the top spreaders? Um, and uh, uh, as we click through here, um, it gave me an answer very quickly. Uh, usually you have to wait a minute or two before it gives me the answer. But who are the top spreaders? And I narrowed it down just to X and Twitter. Here it gives me the top accounts, and there's 25 pages of these, so you can click through. But it gives me the type of account it is. It's split into four cat or divided into four categories: organization, individual, media, and bot. It also tells me what country the account comes from, which is good information to know. So as I click through here, you'll see there's a bunch of different uh, types of accounts. Uh, there's a bot account, Trump Daily Post, which is a well-known bot account. It originates out of the US. And, you know, here's one that you probably wouldn't want to share or retweet, uh, like or retweet. Um, uh, what I would recommend doing is, you know, whatever topics you're you're uh, tracking on social media, start a little list, maybe a little spreadsheet of all the bot accounts. Um, this is a really good thing to do for the election, but really any stories you're covering, just your local community too. Um, you can go go through and start flagging some of these bot accounts, you know, and. Uh, you'll click through here and you know, you'll see some media members in here, you know, various organizations, political organizations and others. Um, it's been very accurate. Here's another um, empty grap, which is another well-known, uh, you know, uh, uh, bot account. Um, Trump Daily Post, uh, uh, real Liam Neeson, uh, which is not the real Liam or the Liam Neeson uh, is uh, another uh, uh, bot account. Uh, but you'll see these in your Trump train is another one. Uh, so it's really good at flagging these, these bot accounts. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's some very valuable information uh, to have. That, along with these filters, you know, make it a very valuable tool for tracking social media. Now, again, uh, the type and, and country only work on Twitter. You won't see it on uh, Reddit or Instagram. It just has the profile and, and the post. Um, uh, in there. So, uh, you know, uh, again, it's only that part, uh, the bot thing is only working with Twitter for the time being. Um, so what I've done is taken all of the stuff that I've uh, in, gone over here and put it into a little step-by-step -step on this little exercise uh, handout that I've given you. It's bit.ly slash Rolly app. 
Uh, and I walk you through those kind of early steps and, you know, how to do uh, the filters. Uh, but I also give you some other topics you can track down here. If you go back to January of 2024 and track the hashtag Nikki Haley for prison, you're going to see a lot of results. Um, the earthquake in China is another one that I've given you here back in January of 2024. Um, so, you know, take advantage of these, this handout, uh, train your staff on how to use this. This is very important, especially in the election year, because uh, we're recording this in June of 2024. Um, you know, very valuable app to have. Um, and with Rolly app, always make sure that you type in uh, uh, the uh, code uh, that will get you in right away, which is Journal AI, all caps. Uh, and uh, once you have that, you'll be able to get in uh, and use the account. So hope you found this useful. Um, Rolly app is up on Journalist Toolbox uh, under the uh, fact checking tools page right here. Um, information tracers up here as well. Uh, Zuhan has uh, you know, built some separate software from this. Uh, but I really like Rolly's you know, integration with it. It's very easy to use. So you know, take advantage of this free website and the training videos uh, and also the newsletter, uh, which is also free. You can access those off the right rail of the website. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next training video.